Are you losing hair? What? You know that 40% of men over the age of 40 have some sort of hair loss. Now in this video, I'll be sharing you why men lose hair, what are the common myths to hair loss, and what you can actually do to prevent or slow down that hair loss. But before I continue with the video, ladies and gentlemen, if you do not mind just clicking the subscribe button, it helps push this kind of video to people like yourself tremendously. Good day, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dr. Inky, your digital skin doctor. And welcome to Skin Fix, the platform whereby we not only help you achieve good skin, but a healthier hair. Now in this video, we'll be talking about male hair loss. Now generally for male hair loss, there are many reasons why one loses hair. However, there are two major hair loss plaguing men. First is what we call male pattern baldness. And secondly, it's called telogen effluvium. But it doesn't matter what kind of hair loss we're talking about, there's actually a common theme around male hair loss. Now first up, why do men lose hair? There are actually many reasons to why men lose hair, but the primary reason is actually due to a hormone called dihydrotestosterone, otherwise known as DHT. Now in this whole video, we've been talking a lot about DHT, so let's find out what this DHT is in the first place. DHT, otherwise known as dihydrotestosterone, is a hormone derived from testosterone. And it has many functions. One of its main functions is to give male characteristics. However, there is a downside to too much DHT. And the downside is it can somehow trigger hair loss in men. So what's wrong with DHT on your hair follicles and how does it affect you? Why is it that some people have high DHT and do not lose hair and some people have regular DHT and start losing hair? And all, all this is downplayed to genetics. Now, genetically, some people are predisposed to become hypersensitive to DHT. It means exposure to slight amounts of DHT will trigger hair loss. And these particular genes might not be triggered in your 20s or 30s and might only be triggered in your 40s and 50s. However, once this gene is triggered and is switched on, you cannot actually switch it off. Other lifestyles also affect the rate of your hair loss. For example, stress. The more stressed you are, the quicker you actually lose hair. And do you know that smoking actually increases the rate of hair loss? And if you do not consume enough vitamins and minerals, if you have poor nutrition, it can also trigger hair loss. Now let's talk about the role of DHT on hair loss. What does it do to the hair? First up, it causes something called follicle miniaturization. Now follicle miniaturization means that for every subsequent generation of hair that grows from the same follicle, the hair actually gets thinner and shorter. So over time, your thick luscious hair will become teeny tiny miniature hairs, which can become invisible to the eyes. Generally, when you have DHT triggered hair fall, your hair loss starts from the front of the scalp and it slowly recedes backwards. Another role of, of DHT on hair loss, it actually messes with your hair cycle. Now your hair is actually divided into two phases. One is a growing phase, otherwise called as anagen, and one is a resting phase, known as telogen. Generally, in a year, nine months of the time, your hair is in the growing phase, and the other two to three months is in the resting phase. However, what DHT does, it actually shortens the growing phase from nine months to something much shorter and extends the resting phase. That means it's no longer two months, but it's actually longer than that. So what happens, this results in weaker hair and the delay in growth of new hair. Now that we know that DHT is the main culprit for male hair loss, let's talk about five hair loss myths that people tend to believe in. Myth number one, frequent hat wearing causes hair loss. Wearing hats do not contribute to hair loss. Now, it's been thought that wearing a hat actually constricts the amount of blood being flowed to the scalp, hence that's why someone gets hair loss. However, this particular myth is untrue. It's because in order for hats to trigger hair loss, the hats would have to be very tight and apply a constant pressure on the head, which is typically not the case. Number two, over shampooing causes hair loss. Now, the harsh reality is if you use too much shampoo, it does cause dryness and the hair to be brittle. But brittle hairs do grow back naturally and normally and does not cause hair loss. Hence, over shampooing or using too much shampoo does not cause hair loss. Now, if you feel that shampooing causes hair loss, it's because your hairs are actually shedding as normal and the act of shampooing just makes them visible to you. Otherwise, most of the time, you're actually losing hair throughout the entire day. Myth number three, only older men experience hair loss. Nowadays, it's not uncommon for someone in their 20s and early 30s to start having hair loss problems. 
so age is no longer a contributing factor in hair loss. Myth number four, sun exposure causes hair loss. Now it is true that prolonged UV exposure does cause some sort of damage to the hair. It does make the hair a little bit brittle and the hair does fall off. But the UV rays do not affect the hair follicles and your hair should grow back normally. Number five, hair loss indicates an internal health problem. While in very minute cases, hair loss can actually indicate an internal health problem, for example, a thyroid issue. But more often than not, normal healthy individuals also experience hair loss. So just because you're losing hair, it doesn't mean there's anything wrong with you. Hey guys, before we continue with the video, do you know any myths surrounding hair loss? Let me know in the comments below. So now that we know what causes hair loss and what are the myths surrounding hair loss, how do we actually treat hair loss? Now, there are five different ways to treat hair loss. Ranging from number one, natural remedies. There are some natural remedies that do help stimulate hair growth. And what they actually do is increase the amount of blood circulation in the scalp and that actually triggers a quicker hair growth. An example would be this. This is the 50 Megumi Men's Hair Essence. It contains 50 natural ingredients to stimulate hair growth. Now, after combing through all the 50 ingredients, I can tell you there are four star ingredients in this particular essence. The first is ginseng root extract. Ginseng root extract helps stimulate hair growth from the hair follicles and increases the amount of blood circulation to the scalp. Next is Swatia Japonica extract. This particular plant extract has been used in Japanese culture for centuries to promote hair growth. The third ingredient is caffeine extract. Caffeine is known for stimulating hair growth in hair follicles and have extensive meta-analysis and scientific studies around it. And number four is Panthenol or Vitamin Pro B5. This ingredient helps moisturize the scalp and that in turn strengthens hair and your hair growth. Now there are 46 other ingredients which I will not cover in here because it's too extensive but do understand that all 50 ingredients are hand-picked to maximize your hair growth. So how do you actually use this particular essence? What you do is every day after you shower, apply six to seven drops of the essence over the areas whereby you notice that your hair is shedding or dropping. And after applying essence, please do not rinse it off, just leave it on your scalp throughout the entire day. However, if you have a very extensive hair loss, sometimes natural remedies do not help, you do require medications. Do look for medications like minoxidil, which increases hair growth through increasing the amount of blood circulation in the scalp, or finasteride tablets, which blocks the DHT, which is the main culprit causing hair loss. There are also emerging technologies, which also helps with hair loss. For example, PRP or platelet-rich plasma therapy. The growth factors in PRP do help increase the amount of hair growth. And more often than not, we do advise to pair PRP along with either medications or your natural remedies. However, if all else fails, the last step is surgical treatment known as hair transplantation. Hair transplant surgery is whereby you take healthy hair from the back of the scalp and plant it to the areas whereby you're shedding. Now, do not look down at hair transplantation. Hair transplant has known to change lives. Alright guys, this is the end of the video. Let me know in the comments below if you're facing any hair loss issues. Do not forget to like, subscribe and share this video with your family and friends, especially those suffering from hair loss. That's it from me, I'm Dr. Inky. Remember to stay safe, stay healthy and most importantly, stay informed. Are you tired of wasting time and money on your skin but nothing works? We are here to help. SkinFix is a platform that provides personal care education completely free. SkinFix is run by skin doctors and skincare experts. You can chat and consult with our skin doctors without ever leaving your home. Other than free advice, SkinFix also provides tailor-made solutions for your skin problem with customized medical-grade skincare delivered right to your doorstep. SkinFix, your digital skin doctor.